So this week I'm sharing some of the findings from a report that came out back in February. Um, and it's been sitting on my desk for me to talk to you about it uh, since then. Um, but some very interesting insights into leadership and it's a company called DDI, a leadership consulting firm. And it's a massive survey they conducted. I, I shared the figures yesterday. And they basically said, we have a leadership crisis. Um, only 40% of leaders in organisations say there's quality leadership there. And they've identified five skills, five top skills that leaders need in the future. And I'll share the graph with you that shows the gap. So the top skills are identifying and developing future talent, strategic thinking, managing successful change, decision-making prioritization, and influencing others. And as you can see in this graph, there's a great difference between the percentage of leaders who have received training in this area, as opposed to those who say it's critical to develop this skill. So for example, in regards to identifying and developing talent, 24% of leaders surveyed said they've received training and 65 said it's critical to develop the skill. So a big gap exists. And the research also found that when leaders are effective in all five of those areas, these are some of the benefits that will be returned. So I'm going to read these. Three, percent, three times more likely to say they can engage and retain top talent. Two times more likely to feel prepared to prevent employee burnout. Two times more likely to be comfortable operating in a highly ambiguous environment. Three times more likely to feel confident operating in a digital business environment. Two times more likely to feel energized about their work and four times more likely to seek out additional ways to contribute to the organisation. And furthermore, when companies develop these skills in their leaders, they're also 1.4 times more likely to be named as the best place to work, which means you can retain and attract top talent. Now, of all the skills listed there, the one that DDI said, if you only pick one of them to develop your leaders, it's identifying and developing future talent. That's the priority. So that's what I'm going to explore with you for the rest of this week.